hello everyone welcome back this is Ajay and today's tutorial we are going to learn how to have a nested tables in HTML okay so in my previous tutorial we have learned how to use uh, the row span and call span and we also learned that how we can merge a set of columns and rows together so this was the example that we took last time and I showed you how to write the HTML code to generate this particular table in which we had these two columns that is column 3 and 4 and uh, the row 3 4 and 5 that got merged all together right but in this particular tutorial now we are going to take it further we are going to understand how to have a nested table so nested table like uh, we have a table inside some other table so what we will do is in this particular merged cell this complete cell we will have one more table and if you look something like this okay so there is one more table in this particular merged cell and that is a two by two table that is a two rows and two columns so maybe in future you have such a requirement where you have a table and certain rows and columns of that particular table are merged and then again you need to show some items in form of a table inside that particular cell okay so in that case you can use the source code okay you can use this tutorial how to do it I'm going to show you okay so let us go to the code and this was the code that we had last time using this particular code we had that particular output where we had merged the rows and columns in fact this particular code is also available to that particular video uh, it is in the description section you can go and click on to it and you can download this particular code okay so with this we had an output like this isn't it and this was the output where we merged this complete set of columns and rows all together into one now let us take this further let us have one more table inside this a nested table okay so this was the third row and third column right so we'll go to the third row okay and what we need to do so this is the first row okay this is the second and this is the third and over here you can see call span is equal to two row span is equal to three okay at this point i will just remove this color part that is the bg color and inside this so this is the opening and closing tag that is a td tag that's the cell that is table data now inside this simply you have to start one more table that's it so simple okay we will have one more table let us give some attributes that is height width and this particular power complete i will take it till here okay and i will paste it the same thing over here but over here the height cannot be 500 because it will be a small table so i'll just keep this as 200 and width i will also keep it as 200 rest everything i will keep it as it is okay and let us have the first row that is the tr tag the closing and this is the first column and this is the second column so we had one row and there are two columns so we will have another row and two columns so this becomes okay i'll just highlight this so this becomes a two by two table there are two rows and two columns and you can see the entire table that is the closing of this table from here till here the entire table comes under this particular td tag you can see this is the opening tag that's the cell and this is the closing and inside this we have this complete table okay now let us see the output for this let us save this and refresh it and that's the output we are getting now the width of uh, these columns have changed okay since we have added one more table so it is not looking good at all right so what we are going to do over here is we are going to uh, we are going to give width sizes to these columns that is this is the first column second third fourth okay and then we will have equal width to every column now understand that this particular width of the outermost table is thousand if you can see to the source code the outermost table is thousand and the number of columns that we have is six 
So what we, what we will do is we will just divide this by 6 by column 6 there, since there are 6 columns so we will divide it by 6 so it is around 166 pixel and what we will do is we will simply go to the first row just see to it the first row and these are the cells right these are the tg tags we will simply give that is width is equal to 166 166 so that every uh, every column will have the same width size and that's the only purpose of doing this okay so we will give that to every cell okay click on file and save and why 166 since the width of the outermost table is thousand and total number of uh, columns are six so i'm just dividing that and it is around 166 so it is 166 pixel width size for every column okay and uh, let us see the output now and here it is okay almost all we have a perfect output but you can see that the the height of all the rows have changed now what you can do is you can also give height width uh, the height size to all the uh, rows okay and then we can have the equal size rows also but then almost all we have this output okay and then what we can do is if you have some data over here let us add some data inside this table so that i'll just make the things clear to you so this was the innermost table so i'll just give one or two over here three and four and let us have this tg tag as uh, align to center okay so that we can have that contents at the center of the cell okay so let us just save this and let us see the output okay here it is a perfect output but these are the contents isn't it so one two three and four and then what we can do it we can simply just remove these borders so if you want the border you can keep the border or else if you don't want it you just want to show the contents inside this then you can just simply remove the that is rules is equal to all and border is equal to one you can remove this particular part and then you can see the output here it is the, now there are no borders at all there are only contents so if you have any particular requirement where we have a table and inside a particular cell of that particular table you want to show some data in a particular structure so you can have a nested table in that case and just remove the borders and then you can show the contents in this way okay also make sure that you have the perfect width sizes to every columns and the rows also you can give so that the table looks uh, of equal size all the cells should look of the equal size depends of, upon the requirement that you have right but almost all if you have a table so you should have equal sizes cells so that it looks good okay so this is how you can actually have a nested table so hope this uh, tutorial is very useful for you i am also giving you the link to this particular source code into the description box uh, you can uh, go and click over there and you can download this particular source code and you can learn things so i hope you have enjoyed this particular video if you feel that you have really gained something from this particular video do subscribe to my channel okay bye for now